Right, hello, welcome to a quite quick video just to talk to you about five watches for uh, under £150 to start your Casio collection. And let's jump in with number one, the most iconic and most recognizable watch on the planet, probably the Casio F91W. It's got a terrible light on it, famously terrible light, and um, and that's it. It'll tell you the time and it has a stopwatch and it'll cost you £10 or more likely a lot less. So Casio F91W, definitely number one on your list. Next up is the W218H. Um, it's probably one of the popular, most popular ones around at the moment. I see this on uh, a lot of pictures on Instagram and a number of videos on YouTube. Uh, so just do a search for W218H and you'll see plenty of people um, praising this for being Casio's best beta watch. So it's, uh, as you can see, it's got a quite a good rugged look to it. I've actually got three of these watches. And um, yeah, big fan, really like this. And um, it's got nothing more to offer than the F91W in the sense that it's just got a stopwatch and an alarm. Um, it does have a better light, which I can try and demonstrate here, you can see. So it's got a reasonably good light on it. Um, it is part of the Illuminator series and uh, yeah, great watch. Anywhere between sort of like 15 and 25 quid for one of these, um, definitely shop around and you should be able to pick one of these up for about 15 pounds. Probably the black one, the other colored ones do tend to attract a bit of a higher price. Number three, this is probably one of Casio's most iconic watches, the CA53W, as worn by Marty McFly in Back to the Future, uh, or Back to the Future 2, I should say, and also Walt White in Breaking Bad. Back in his early days as a teacher and uh, just just getting out and, and starting to climb that corporate drug dealing ladder, Walt White could be seen wearing the uh, Casio CA53W. By the time he transitioned to... Uh, Heisenberg and uh, international drug dealing fame, then uh, he was a bit more um, upmarket with his watches, let's say. But the Casio CA53W, obviously calculator, it doesn't have a light, but it'll tell you the time. It's got a timer, a stopwatch, the usual functions, and uh, really nice. This actually has got one of my favorite straps. It's a really nice resin strap on you and fits really comfortably. Number four, this is the Casio Royale or the AE1200. Um, it's called the Casio Royale because James Bond never wore one in Casino Royale. No, he didn't. James Bond wore a Seiko in Octopussy that looks similar to this, and then this was given the nickname the Casio Royale. This watch has a few extra features over the others so far. Obviously, it doesn't have a calculator, but what you do have in this one is you have a stopwatch and also a countdown timer. You have five alarms on here, and you also have a dual time zone, so you can set multiple time. You can set two different time zones on here. Very nice watch. Very popular in the modding community with people putting different straps on and doing a lot of changes to the screen etc so this is the uh, AE 1200 and typically probably in the region of about 20 to 30 pounds so I'm putting this one down at 25 quid really so so far just have a quick catch up we have the F91W at 10 pounds the 21W218H at 15 the CA53W at about 25 and the Casio Royale also about 25 so what you have here 10 15 25 25 you have about 75 pounds there and that's without too much shopping around you could get this one under a tenner this one 15 is a good price for that one you may find the calculator watch the CA 53w a bit cheaper I did actually get this for under 20 quid so there is there are some deals to be found out there and this one maybe 20 if you're lucky so it's possible potentially to save 20 pounds perhaps across this range here the final one bringing my total up to 150 quid is going to be a g-shock square um, i've said 75 pounds because something like this model with the dual resin strap and the uh, negative display will typically cost you upwards of 50 to 80 quid there's quite a variety in the prices here to be honest uh, but if you're not that fussed, um, you could get an older model, you could get a second-hand model, you could pick up a G-Shock Square uh, DW 5600 model, you can pick one up probably for about £25-30 pounds on eBay. You may have a few scratches on it, but you can get your hands on one of these for 
half the price that I'm stating here. So there we go. There's the five watches. So for 150 quid or potentially as low as 100 pounds, you've got one, two, three, four, five watches. And I think a really good, solid collection. If you wanted to get these slot for 100 quid and you wanted to... Uh, add a little bit more to your collection. I might suggest actually looking at something like the MRW 200, if you wanted to get into some analog watches. So the MRW 200 typically retails about 20 quid, but if you're looking for something with uh, different colored faces, the price can actually go up a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, there we go, there's a bonus one for you. Right, links below to all of these watches. And if you've got any questions, please leave them below and I will try to do my best to answer them. I'm no expert. I'm just a bit of a uh, bit of a fanboy, really. Um, so there we go. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in another video real soon.